In this video, we're going to look at how you can create a Pinterest graphic that will actually build your email list. Hey business builders, if you're looking to grow your email list through Pinterest, stick around, we're going to get right into it. First of all, if you're not sure exactly how to make a pin, Pinterest itself has resources and guides for you that will teach you exactly how to make a successful pin for your Pinterest board. So as you can see up here, you can go to resources and go to creative best practices. And here you can get a good idea of what they're looking for in a standard pin, such as eye-catching images, making your brand the focal point, including your logo, etc. There are also some ideas if you want to include a video pin. So you're gonna wanna go to canva.com or Photoshop if you prefer it, but I like Canva for making quick and easy designs. And we're gonna to wanna to create a couple of designs. In this example, we're gonna be giving away a free PDF download via our Pinterest pin through our Optin Monster campaign. And I'll explain exactly how to do it. So we're gonna be giving away this PDF download and I'm actually going to download it. And we're gonna take a screenshot of our PDF download and we're gonna use that for our pin. Now we're gonna go back to Canva and we're gonna to go to create a design. And as you can see here, they already have the option of using a Pinterest pin. So this will give us that two to three ratio that Pinterest loves. And we're gonna upload that screenshot of our PDF. As you can see here, we're gonna add a background color. You can add in color palettes through Canva. So I'm gonna use one of my brand's background colors. And from here, you have complete design freedom from within Canva, so go for it. Okay, so now we've got our pin designed and we're gonna go over to Optin Monster to create our campaign, which is the landing page they'll be taken to when they click on our pin. So let's do that. Once we're here, we're gonna click the green create new campaign button and we're gonna create a full screen campaign. Again, we want this to be a really simple landing page where people see this is where I download the PDF that I just clicked on. So we're gonna use this magnet template, which is perfect for lead magnets. Choose the website you want to land on and start building. Okay, so for our landing page, we want it to look like the pin so that people know this is exactly where I meant to click. I'm in the right place. So right here, we're gonna include a picture of that PDF download that we just put on our Pinterest pin. There we go. And as with Canva, we'll just make some quick text and design changes to our landing page. And it's super easy. I'm also gonna change the font so it matches a little better with the PDF. I don't wanna ask for their name. I just wanna ask for their email address. And we're gonna go back to the main menu and we're gonna import our custom colors. These are the same custom colors I have in Canva, so this makes it super easy. For my full screen background, I want the background color to be the same one as our pin. And I'm gonna change this submit button color to that same salmon pink color. And as you can see with the hover, I'm gonna copy the regular styles and I actually, I can make that the lighter pink so you can see that hover effect. And with the action, I'm actually gonna have this redirect to a URL to where they would be able to um, automatically download this PDF. What we can also do is with our email marketing service provider, trigger an email from them for these new leads that they will also get it in their inbox. And we obviously want to change this to say, download my house organization PDF. And then next, for the display rules, we're gonna want this opt-in to display if our website visitor clicks on our Pinterest pins URL. So we're gonna put if visitor clicked on the monster link and we're just going to delete that. Next step, all right, and that's correct. And then here, integrations, we'll want to add our email marketing service provider, such as Constant Contact. We'll add that in and then in analytics, all we have to do, we can either leave our Optin Monster Analytics or quickly connect to our Google Analytics account. 
And finally, in the Publish tab, we'll simply toggle from Paused to Live. And we're going to want to scroll down to where it says Shareable Monster Link. And we're going to want to highlight and copy the Shareable Monster Link. And we're going to need this for when we set up our Pinterest pin on Pinterest. So let's head over to Pinterest to finish up this process. To add a pin on Pinterest, you simply click this red Add button. And we're going to create a pin or a product pin. All you have to do is upload the image we just created. As you can see, it looks great. In the Pinterest resources, you'll learn a little bit more about keywords and what is important to share about your pin in the title section and in the description section. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to write as plainly as we can about what our pinners will find after they click on our pin. Okay, and here where it says add a destination link, this is where we're going to copy and paste over our Optin Monster campaign. And we are going to choose which board we want to publish it on. Okay, so now we're just going to click on our pin and it brings us straight to the landing page we just created in a matter of minutes with Optin Monster's app. As you can see, this is gonna be an awesome way to collect leads and deliver value to your potential customers. All right guys, that was a little bit longer tutorial than usual, but because this is going to be setting up a system that's going to grow your email list on autopilot via Pinterest. So it's worth it, right? I hope it was of value to you. If you have any questions, make sure to leave it in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to follow us for more online marketing tutorials. And we'd love to have you as part of our Optin Monster YouTube family. And don't forget, we're also over on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and pretty much anywhere you can think of on the interwebs. So I hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.